Hello, hello, hello again, friends and family. Today I am here on Parenting Connections and I am about to uh, introduce to you Rick Eldridge. Rick Eldridge is a movie producer and he has produced a movie that I'm very excited uh, excited about called The Mulligans. Um, um, Mr. Eldridge, Mr. Eldridge, hello. Hi, it's great Welcome to see to you. Show. Thank you. So yes. tell me, tell me a little bit. I mean, I was looking over your um, your resume, and it's just wonderful. So you, this this isn't just your first movie. You've been doing this for a minute. Been doing a few, yes, for about thirty years. I've been making film, and uh, just uh, you know, keep uh, keep telling stories that hopefully can inspire and uh, affect change in our world. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you, and you have ser- several degrees. And so I was looking at the different colleges you went to. Right. Um, tell me a little bit about your background, please. Well, my, uh, my first degree was in music and uh, that's my first love. I uh, uh, went to Brevard uh, School of Music in North Carolina. Uh, I was a uh, uh, music performance major. I got very involved in composition and writing music at the time. I was actually touring and performing and then also. So that was my first life. Uh, I had a lot more hair then. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that actually uh, was my transition point later on to, uh, uh, to work into film. I, I was scoring a film uh, in Florida with uh, 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 the Hart Corp. Race Jovanovich Company, which at the time was doing a lot of publishing materials around our world. And uh, I did a movie called Kingdom of the Dinosaurs, and uh, I'm in Orlando, Florida, and uh, it was kind of a right place, right time, really, because uh, the movie won some awards, the score won some awards, and the next call I got was from Disney, and they said, hey, nobody knows this yet, but we're going to be building studios in Orlando, and we'd like for you to, uh, to come and be a part of what's happening. Uh, what turned into a career on both the Disney and the Universal lot, because right behind the Disney uh, release was the universal release that they were going to build a studio in Florida called, uh, it was called Hollywood East for a long time. And I think they kind of went away from that, but that was kind of the beginning for me. So, uh, I went from, uh, writing stories that were three minutes long and we call them songs to, uh, writing stories that were two hours long and we call them movies. So, uh, just transitioned from music into scoring and writing, uh, writing for, for different, different shows and then finally doing my own. Yeah. You know, it, it kind of goes to show you that we never really know where we're going to end up. That's right. You know, we go through so many different paths and we just kind of hope one of the paths um, um, just doesn't self-destruct. And so yep. speaking of self-destruct, the mulligan... <laughs> So, but, but okay. So when I hear the mulligan in, in the back of my head, I kind of think maybe that it's a last name. But there's actually a meaning behind the word. Can you explain that a little bit? Yes. Well, mulligan is a, a golf term. Uh, you know, and it, it it basically is you hit a shot and it's a bad shot. Let's say you hit it in the water, you hit it out of bounds, uh, whatever. And uh, you know, a, a courtesy in golf would be, hey, take a mulligan, hit another shot. Uh, or a do-over. It's a, it's a second chance. And so we took the, the analogy of golf uh, and a mulligan and uh, told a story about a second chance that uh, our main character gets. Uh, he, he, Paul is this corporate business executive guy who has very successful business. Everything's going great for him on the surface. But underneath that, uh, he's got a, a kid that hates him. He's got a wife that he's leaving. So broken marriage, broken relationships everywhere. And he's obviously been focused on his business and running his business. And that's been his number one thing. In fact, there's a line in the movie where, uh, you know, he has a dialogue with his son and his son says that, you know, some things are, are just more important than that. Uh, and um, it, it becomes a turning point for him. And he meets this old pro who he thinks is going to give him uh, a do-over on his golf game, helping with his golf, and winds up giving him a do-over in life. He helps him look at his priorities, look at the things that matter most in his world. And uh, so it's a, it's a neat story around golf, 
uh, and also around relationships. So uh, fantastic uh, story about life. You know, when I when I see the part about the do over, yeah. in in life as a parent, <clears throat> as an educator, as you know, a radio show host, a podcaster, I, life. You know, we wish we could have a do over, and so yeah. I'm seeing how this movie really stresses that do over piece. Right. Um, what do you know about do over? Why did you even pick this script? <laughs> well, it's uh, it, of course I love golf, so uh, and 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 I've certainly needed a few mulligans in my golf game. I'm, I I wouldn't say that I'm the best golfer in the world, but uh, uh, more importantly. I think it, uh, you know, in, in, in our life, I think if we look at where we, we are, whether it's in our home, with our families, uh, with our kids, uh, you know, we all can use do-overs, you know. And uh, in fact, we have these little cards that uh, the Arnold Palmer Half and Half uh, Drink Company had printed up for us uh, that that uh, it's been kind of a fun marketing thing where we just, you know, people can give these cards out and it says, have a mulligan on us. And uh Maybe you tripped over a curb or maybe you just said something the wrong way. Uh, and and it's, uh, it's a mulligan. And, uh, you know, so, so that's something that we can all realize and deal with. And, and, and uh, the story for me uh, really hits home in so many different areas. Uh, I know you deal with a lot of family matters in your show, Tyra. Uh, I have six children. And uh, so I've, uh, I could probably tell you do-overs in every one of their lives. <laughs> So that I've had to deal with. So uh, I'm, uh, I, I'm I'm an expert at mulligans myself. <laughs> okay, so the the movie itself is based off a best-selling book. Is right. that correct? <clears throat> That's right. Um, so and I, and I know I don't know why I'm going back to this, but I've met producers that were the writers that were you know and they produce and they direct and they put out this material. Yeah. But there was something about this script that you said, you know what, I want to produce this. What, what, what was that moment that you said, this is it? Well, I, you know, it's written by Ken Blanchard, who is a world-renowned uh, business leadership. Uh, most people will know his book, The One Minute Manager. Uh, he sold a gazillion copies of that. But uh, he speaks at major corporate events all over the country, very in-demand business strategist. And then Wally Armstrong, who uh, has, uh, has been a friend for many, many years, uh, was a former touring pro. So he and Ken got together to write this book. And, uh, and they used the analogy of this business executive and, and his, his game of golf. And, and uh, in many ways, I guess I could put myself in that because that's what I do in the entertainment business is, you know, I, I have to put on my business hat and, and run a studio and, and manage things there. But I also love golf. And so... The analogy worked for me. Uh, I did a golf movie about 20 years ago. That was my first golf movie. It was called Bobby Jones, Stroke of Genius. And uh, so now about 30 movies later and about 20 plus years later, uh, I'm able to do another movie. So uh, that, that is, is centered around the same thing, the game of golf, a very different story. But uh, the ultimate do-over uh, in our life is uh, is is – is what God provides for us. And uh, there's a spiritual message in this story too that goes there. And, and our main character, Pat Boone, who is just amazing as the old pro, is uh, talking with our uh, young executive, Eric Close, uh, from the Magnificent Seven in the Nashville series. Great actor. I love He's that amazing. guy. Yep. I He's love amazing. that guy. And, and not just that, not to just throw off the subject, but <laughs> the cast, that you have is amazing. I mean, they were yeah. veterans um, in there, and you have yeah. some fresh um, faces mm -hmm. in there. But right. everybody, I mean, it, it had to be amazing to be with these people on set. It, it was a fun time. I mean, Pat was just uh, the ultimate pro, and uh, uh, everyone uh, just gelled together. You know, we, we were shooting in North Georgia, so we were in a little small community. And uh, they didn't have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, I, I would say, you know, a five star type hotels, which is what actors usually like to stay in. So we stayed in houses in this club. And so we were all having dinners together. We were hanging out together. And so 
the camaraderie and the connectivity was just phenomenal. And uh, I think that really helped make a, a great story because everybody knew their role in the film, but they knew each other too. So it was a lot of fun. I went to this conference this weekend and it was a leadership conference for women or a conference for women in leadership. And one of the biggest things that I left with is that my material needs to begin with Jesus and end with Jesus. So you said something that um that's really been missing the media you know there there used to always be like a foundation behind um the good versus evil right um you know good always wins and that's not always the case in the stuff that we watch anymore that's right and not just that 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 true life story sometimes is missing the reality of the pitfall that's right. Yeah. And I feel like it sounds, it sounds, like, sounds like you're like capturing some, some of that, that in this movie. movie. Talk I'm about, about um, I know you, you discussed the, the writers of the Blanchard and Armstrong, Armstrong but um, what, is, what is that? that how is how that is relatable, relatable to parenting? parenting? Well, I think it's very relatable in that, uh, you know, our, our character, Paul, who uh, is very focused on, on the things that he thinks are most important, which is his business. And, you know, in all good senses, he's saying, hey, I'm providing for my family. I'm trying to give my son a good education. I'm trying to do all these things. But he forgets along the way that the things that matter most are, are the relationships that he can build and, and the, the values that he can instill in his family and the leader that he can be in his home. And uh, so he gets a do-over in life as he meets with this, uh, you know, old pro and uh, he thinks it's about his golf game, and it's about so much more than that. But along the way, the, the old pro, in a very uh, natural way, we've gotten to know these characters, we love these characters, uh, shares uh, about God's grace and God's forgiveness. And, and basically, he, his analogy is that it's a do-over. You know, God is the ultimate do-over. He's given you the opportunity to have a clean slate. Uh, to have a perfect scorecard and to be able to start over. And uh, it, it's interesting. Our main character hears this and, and, and he at first rejects it. He, he says, I don't think I'm ready. And, uh, and then later on, as he meets with his son again and realizes that there's starting to be a relationship there, he says, you know, I think there are things that are probably more important. And, uh, and he, he makes that commitment and he makes that change. And, and we see that in the, arc of this character through the film and it's uh it's dynamic and it's it's something we can all identify with because we've all been there we've all had things that that uh that that really we we needed a do-over we needed uh, a, a forgiveness we needed god's grace absolutely so who do you think's gonna like this movie you know, we we uh, we know that the golfing community is will like the film because <laughs> uh, it's just a great golf movie, and and uh, we we tested the movie with multiple audiences, with multicultural audiences, with uh, you know women audience, with 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 kid audience, and uh, younger and teenage uh, children and college age children uh, across the board. The thing that we got back, which was so great, was. This is not just a movie about golf. It's a movie about life, and everybody needs to see this. Parents need to bring their husbands to see this. They need to bring their kids to see this. So that was fantastic for us. What we did in the script was we uh, we kind of spread the, uh, the the book story deals with you know the old pro and 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 Paul his character and their interaction. Uh, we went multi dimensional. We have this Asian element where. He has this guy in his business who's really trying to take over his business as they're trying to open up Asian uh, markets. Uh, we have another situation with the, 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 the husband and wife and their relationship that we expand deeper. Uh, we get to know Paul and his business a little deeper. and We get to know the, the relationship that he doesn't have with his son and that through some things that happened in the movie, and I won't spoil it, uh, is forced to have that opportunity with his son to to get together and get to know him. And, uh, and so all those things come together to, uh, to tell a multidimensional story that we hope everybody will enjoy. Awesome. And so um, you talked about what it was like to be offset with the actors and actresses. 
what was it like to be on set with them? You know, uh, Pat Boone uh, it was 87 years old. Uh, he had a very large role. He had a lot of lines he had to deliver every day. And he was just the consummate pro. He was there every day. He knew his lines. Uh, he probably had more energy than any of us. We were chasing him. Uh, and then, of course, Eric and he connected. They, they actually, uh, again, staying in this community together, were able to interact and rehearse scenes uh, you know, on their own. So everybody brought it, uh, you know, Camilla, uh, uh, the, who played, uh, you know, the, the executive assistant to Paul, phenomenal, uh, uh, you know, Tanya, you know, Christensen, who played his wife, all of them did a great job. Andrew, uh, who played his son, uh, uh, we have uh, this kind of another side story, which is uh, Pat giving a lot of his time to the Payne Stewart Golf Foundation, which is helping uh, you know, inner city kids learn about life through the game of golf and he spells that game of life first golf Mm -hmm. and uh and 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 as they're learning the game of golf they're really learning core values of life and uh and so that's a big part of the story too and so and there's a lot of dimensions to it so uh, we're very excited to bring it uh you know with your family involvement in your show i'll let you know this too uh this the the thing for me that was so rewarding my sons were able to help me write the story so uh my son Roland and my son son Randall were were very much a part of this with me, and uh, that was phenomenal. And I think they gave some some dimension that really has helped it become successful uh, to to these wide group of audiences. Wow, that that's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. So you're passing down good, good stuff good to your children. That's right. So yeah. if somebody wants to see the movie, I know that it does hit the, the movie theaters April 18th and 19th. Right. But where else can we get it? Well, you 18th and 19th, you, if you go to themulliganmovie.com, uh, you can then type in your zip code, really. There's a place where you can just go through the website type in your zip code and it'll tell you where the closest theater is to you. And then it'll tell you how you can buy your tickets uh, ahead of time. And we're encouraging people to do that because we've seen a lot of theaters already that are selling out. Uh, it's a day and date release. Uh, and because of we, we, we're on two days only, uh, we want to make sure that we create an event around this. So uh, uh, again, April 18 and 19, you can go to the mulliganmovie.com. And uh, just it'll it'll show you how you can find the closest theater and buy your tickets. Thank you so much. Um, being a dad um, and everything else that you do, can you leave our viewers just with some some nuggets? Um, one about raising children. So your your life sounds like it was demanding. So how? Does one balance this wonderful career that you were blessed with, but yet be that parent? Are you a grandfather yet? I am nine times. So wow. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you bound to tell? Because you know I, I do work with a lot of successful people, but then I work with a lot of people that are struggling. But how do you balance that on both ends? Yeah, I, I I think it it it's all about the way we look at and focus uh, our responsibilities as parents and as grandparents. Uh, my pastor uh, made a very wise statement uh, early in our parenting career, and uh, and I grabbed it and I I've kept it uh, as a nugget. It is called "Kids Spell Love," T I M E. They spell love, T-I-M-E. And uh, that, to me, is, is the most important thing, is to, to care about what they're doing, be a part of their lives. And, uh, you know, I had the, the ability running my own studio. I could kind of schedule things in, in a lot of ways where, sure, I'm traveling a lot, I'm gone a lot. But, uh, you know, if, if my son had a baseball game, uh, I would just tell my assistant, I'd say, you know what, uh, I got to leave early on Thursday you know, block me off after four o'clock and, uh, and I could go do that and be at that game. Uh, and, uh, so it's something that you have to learn and you have to be conscious to, to do. Uh, but that T I M E also goes for your wife and your spouse. Uh, we have date nights, Friday nights, and that's always been our date night every Friday night. And, uh, and not much gets in the way of that. 
Uh, if something does get in the way of it, we find another night, but it's Friday night. And, uh, mm-hmm. and so that's been a very important thing uh, after 42 years of marriage uh, and six children. <laughs> that's really kept <laughs> us all together. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's trying to, to walk through those things together and know each other and care about each other. Uh, that's, that's the nugget I could give is, is, uh, love T I M E. Okay. So I have one more question for you. All right. Okay. So in the way that our world is, uh, shifting, how do you make movies or do these professional, wonderful things and not cross over to the dark side? <laughs> I think the, the, the number one thing you have to do is, uh, is, is stay true to, to your faith and to, to the, the purpose that you have. Uh, and, and that one thing, you know, following God's direction, uh, you know, has a, a whole lot of other sub points underneath it that keep you in line. Uh, you know, having an accountability, you know, people that, that love me and care about me that will tell me, uh, when I'm doing something that's not the right way to go or when I need to rethink something. Uh, and, and, and my wife is the very first person to do that. She's about as black and white as they come, and she's not, not afraid to tell me. But uh, more importantly than anything, I think it's our relationship with, that, with our Lord and, uh, and making sure that that's in place. If that's in place, then uh, all of these other things like you know, uh, how, how big and important I am get put in check. You know, mm-hmm. and I realize that what I do, I do for the glory of God. I don't do for the glory of Rick. And mm-hmm. and that makes all the difference. It does. That does make the difference. And thank you for saying that. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for thank taking you the time out, out to, to talk, talk to my viewers. viewers. Yeah. Um, uh, I, don't I don't have any have kind of a, a question, any more questions, but, but if you I have any final, final, final words to the viewers out here in Texas and all over by the time it gets boosted. Right. Well, thank you. I, I really appreciate you giving us the opportunity to, to create some awareness around the movie and uh, what we're doing with that. But uh, I think more importantly, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, realizing where you are, who you are, that God's given us all unique talents and abilities. And, uh, you know, if you're an actor or if you're an electrician or if you're a producer or whatever you do. And, and so... Uh, my, my encouragement to all of us is to do what we do with excellence at the highest level possible to the glory of God. And, uh, and, and he can use that and he'll use you right where you are to make a difference. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That is so thank good. Um, Rick Elder, thank, thank you so much for being with, with us. us. Have a thank wonderful you. afternoon and I, and I wish many blessings, blessings for this for movie. movie. It's going to be wonderful. wonderful. I appreciate it. And and again, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. All right. Okay. So in about a week or so, I will be, even though I did the live, um, normally I wait for some really good questions or whatever, but it looks like somebody right. that was so smart decided to throw some stuff there. That's right. the first time that's ever happened. And so you're, you're special. Oh, and, um, thank you. <laughs> so um, I'll boost it out in a week ago and uh, right. upload it and everything. And so, I appreciate that. Thank you, yes, sir. Thank you so and much for your time. You're looking at the looking at the kind of subject matter you deal with. Uh, I'm I'm going to say, at some point, you need to probably have uh, my wife on your show. Ooh, yay! Uh, she uh, she just wrote a book uh, and that will be released on Mother's Day. On Mother's and, Day, uh, and it's, okay. uh, it's it's called. Uh, and and the uh, the the subtitle of that is uh, uh, from a mother's heart, uh, mental illness, the silent disease. Ooh, okay, yes, and, uh, you need that. She deals well, with uh, pre-order. Once it's on pre-order, go ahead yep. and um, let um, let's get her let's connect it. Yeah, we probably need that. She's uh, she's a pretty amazing lady, and and uh, and and just uh, you know, and she deals with it personally i mean having six kids you know everything's not always perfect and and uh there's a lot of things that uh that that she talks through that uh yeah i'm very proud of her it's a phenomenal book and 
I, I think your your audience would love that. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And just right. you know, get us that information, get her in touch with me, and we'll get that. Community, if the pre-orders pre -order is ready already, then go ahead and have her, right. and we'll get her on the calendar. We'll do it. Thank you. Appreciate Thank everything. You. All right. Take Bye. care. Bye bye. doing funny stuff today stream oh we're still live ah <laughs> i didn't know we were still live <laughs> bye see you later restream's doing what it wants to do today it's just not letting me leave it's not letting me leave at all. Come on now. Come on. It's not letting me leave. How embarrassing. I guess I got to stay on and talk to y'all since it won't let me get out of here. It's like it has a mind of its own. Let me see. Bye, y'all. Control. It's not letting me end the stream. It is. Let me close it. Okay, y'all, I'm about to do a crazy restart. Well, thank you anyway. Y'all, make sure that y'all share out our videos because sharing is caring. Um, and I just don't know why it's acting crazy on me. I'm about to do a crazy restart.